Namaste and welcome back to the channel. We're going to start in a seated position right away, closing our eyes. And we're going to start inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And right away, we're going to start doing a breathing exercise. Inhaling in one, two, three, four. Holding the breath, one, two, three, four. Exhaling, one, two, three, four. Holding, one, two, three, four. Inhaling, one, two, three, four. Holding, one, two, three, four. Inhaling. One, two, three, four. Holding. One, two, three, four. Exhaling. One, two, three, four. Inhaling. One, two, three, four. Holding. One, two, three, four. Exhaling. One, two, three, four, holding, one, two, three, four, inhaling, one, two, three, four, holding, one, two, three, four, exhaling, one, two, three, four, holding, one, two, three, four, inhaling, one, two, three, four, holding, one, two, three, four, exhaling, one, two, three, four, holding, one, two, three, four, very slowly, we're going to bring the breath back to normal. We can start opening our eyes back up or keeping them closed. We're going to bring the chin really close to the chest and we're going to start making half circles with the chin, keeping it really close to the chest. As we inhale, we move towards one side, exhaling, coming back down, and inhaling, going to the other side. And we're going to move very slowly, matching the movement to the breath. The next time I go to center, very slowly I'm going to bring the chin all the way up. And from here, we're going to make sure that we're comfortable in our seated position, opening the arms up and over, then letting them rain all the way down. Inhaling, opening the arms all the way up and over. And from here, we're going to go towards one side with our spine. And slowly, we're going to come back to center and bring the back, the spine towards the other side. Feeling if there's any difference between one side and the other. Coming back to center and letting the hands fall down. From here, hands are gonna be resting on the knees and very slowly, we're going to bring the left foot close towards the right glute and the right foot close towards the left glute and lifting 
the right arm up and over, making sure that the elbow looks up. We're going to bring the left arm back and that elbow goes down. The hands, they try to meet. It's okay if they don't. We can close our eyes here and really feel this posture really connecting with the breath and with all the sensations that I'm experimenting in this moment. And moving very slowly, we're going to unravel the arms and then the legs. And we're going to do the same towards the other side, bringing the right foot close to the left glute and the left foot close to the right glute. And from here, lifting the left arm up and over, bending the elbow, the elbow looks up and the right hand comes behind our back. That elbow points towards the floor, perceiving if there is any difference in between one side and the other. The hands want to meet and it's okay if they don't. With time, we're going to practice our way for the hands to meet behind our back, closing our eyes. And slowly we're going to unravel the hands and the legs. And from here, coming back to that lotus, to that seated position, hands on top of the knees. And we're going to do a seated cat cow, inhaling, opening the chest, exhaling, rounding through. Inhaling, opening the chest, looking forward. Exhaling, looking at our navel, inhaling, opening up, exhaling, rounding through. And we're going to keep this movement matching it with our breath. Very slowly, we're going to get ready to stop this movement. The next time we inhale, we're going to open the chest and very slowly we can open our eyes if they were closed and we're going to come to bring both soles of the feet onto the floor, legs hip width apart looking forward and from here letting go of the whole back collapsing onto our legs chin to chest we're going to really take this time to relax and let go of any worries Very slowly, we're going to come back up with our spine and we're going to bring the left foot in, right leg stays where it's at. 
we're going with the spine to open up towards the right side left elbow comes to the right knee opening the chest looking past the right shoulder slowly and groveling coming back to center with our spine and from here we're going to bring the right leg in left leg stays bended we're going to open towards the left side and the right elbow comes on the outer side of the left knee looking past my right shoulder slowly unraveling to come back to center we're going to come back to that seated lotus and grabbing the left wrist with our right hand letting go of the chest the spine the head for yoga mudra all the way back up and slowly we're going to bring soles of the feet towards the floor and from here leaning back we're going to first lift one leg and then the other and slowly bring both arms looking up with their hands looking up, both pose. We can stretch one leg and then the other if we consider that we can do it. Otherwise, we're going to hold onto this posture and slowly coming back to a seated position. Bringing the hands towards our knees we're going to take three deep breaths slowly bringing both hands to the center of the chest in Anjali Mudra Danyavad, thank you so much for watching for practicing together don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you bye